Well, today I'll be doing a CD collection video. This time it'll be for Dark Angel, Death Angel, Overkill, and Testament. So yeah, I'll be doing bands outside of the big four. And I won't be including Annihilator or Voivod because I've done those bands already. I've already done a CD collection video for those two bands. I did them together in one video. I also won't be including Sepultura because I've done Sepultura already. I did a CD collection video where I did Sepultura, Cavalera Conspiracy, Nail Bomb, and Soulfly all in one video. So if you haven't seen that and you're a Max Cavalera fan, definitely check out that video after this video here. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive into it. Let's start off with Dark Angel, and this will be a fairly short one. I just have their main four studio albums, but yeah. We have We Have Arrived their debut. Next we have Darkness Descends, which is probably my second favorite album from them. And then we have Leaf Scars. Then we'll be moving to their final album, Time Does Not Heal, which is my favorite album from the band. Really dig this album a lot. But yeah, that is my CD collection for Dark Angel. Again, fairly short, fairly small. But let's go ahead and move on to Death Angel, starting with their debut album, The Ultraviolence. And then we got Frolic Through the Park, definitely one of their best. Really enjoyed this album. Then we got Act 3. And then we have The Art of Dying, which was their comeback album. And then we got Killing Season. Then we got Relentless Retribution. The Dream Calls for Blood. Then we got The Evil Divide. And then we got, in my opinion, the best album of their modern era, Humanicide. Pretty good album. And then we got final CD here for Death Angel. The Bastard Tracks. So yeah, that is it for Death Angel. Let's go ahead and move on to Overkill, which is the stack right here. And yeah, a band that definitely has a fairly lengthy discography, starting with Feel the Fire. And then we got Taking Over, one of my favorites from the band. Then we got Under the Influence. Then we got Years of Decay, which most people would agree, definitely one of their best. And then we got Horoscope. And this is probably my favorite Overkill album. And then we got I Hear Black, which I think is honestly one of their more underrated albums. I actually really dig this album. A bit more groovy, a bit darker, but still, I do dig the album. And then we have WFO. And we got The Killing Kind. From the underground and below. And then we got Necroshine. And then we got Cover Kill. Then we got Bloodletting, which is one of the more difficult albums for me to find for whatever reason, but glad I got it though. 
Then we got Kill Box 13. Then we got Relics. Then we got Immortalis. And my version comes with the bonus DVD. Then we will be moving to Ironbound. Definitely one of their best when it comes to their modern era. Really good album. Then we got the Electric Age, and this is the tour edition. And this comes with the Live From Oz EP, which is a bonus CD that comes again with the tour edition. And then we got White Devil Armory. Then we got the Grinding Wheel. Then we got The Wings of War, their most recent album, which I think is another album that I think is one of their best when it comes to their modern work. But yeah, those are all of my Overkill CDs. Let's go ahead and move on to the final band for this video, and that is Testament. Starting with, of course, The Legacy, their debut. Then we got The New Order, definitely one of their best in my opinion. Then we got Practice What You Preach, which is maybe my favorite album from them. Then we got Souls of Black. Then we got The Ritual. Then we got Low, which I think is somewhat kind of an underrated album in their discography. Then we got Demonic, one of their weaker albums, but not terrible. Then we got The Gathering. Then we got First Strike, Still Deadly. Then we got The Formation of Damnation, their comeback album. And then we got Dark Roots of Earth. And then we got Brotherhood of the Snake. Pretty good album. And then we move to their latest album, Titans of Creation, which is another pretty good album. So yeah, those are all of my Testament CDs. And yeah, that is my CD collection for Dark Angel, Death Angel, Overkill, and Testament. Let me know your thoughts on my collections for these bands. Let me know what CDs you have from these bands. Um, are there ones that you have that I might not have? Or do I have some that you don't might not have? And all that good stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and a like. Subscribe. Have a nice day and take care.